Hi, do you suffer from migraine headaches? My name is Dr. Steve Goodstein, chiropractor and applied kinesiologist with over 35 years experience in health and wellness. And today I'm gonna to talk about migraines. In part one of the headache series, I did talk about tension headaches, which are the most common type, but we're gonna focus on migraine headaches today. And the most common symptoms of a migraine is anywhere from moderate to severe pulsing or throbbing pain, pulsation sensations on one side of the head usually. And that can often be accompanied by feelings of nausea, nausea rather, and even some vomiting. And usually before a migraine, some people will experience what's called an aura. An aura is consists of visual disturbances, maybe some spots in the eyes or flashes of light. The causes of migraine headaches are not really understood that well, but it is generally accepted that genetics and environmental factors definitely play a role. If you do suffer from migraine headaches, you probably also know what triggers them. There's many different types of triggers depending on each person, but some of the most common ones can be from things you drink like alcohol or caffeine or certain foods that you eat. Maybe there's sleep disturbances, having a restless night of sleep, not sleeping well. Could be from hormonal imbalances, obviously stress, or maybe bright lights and, and loud sounds, just to name a few. As far as treatment goes of migraines, conservatively, most people will try to take over-the-counter medications first, hoping that will help. Things like Excedrin, Aspirin, Ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, and hopefully that will. But when it doesn't, you may have to look towards taking prescription medications. In that case, you'll have to go to a physician, get a prescription, and one of the most common medications or one of the better ones that I've seen is Sumatriptan, and that uh, helps to, that can relieve an attack pretty quickly, and it works by blocking the pain pathways in the brain. Now, as far as chiropractic care goes, in my opinion, I wouldn't necessarily say the chiropractic can get rid of migraine headaches. However, it may help to reduce the intensity and frequency of the headaches, and that is very important. And that's because the nerves that go up to, the, or some of the nerves that go into the brain, the blood vessels, do come from the neck. And by relieving pressure off the vertebra of the neck, takes the pressure off the nerves in the spine that go up there, and that can help to relax the area and reduce the intensity and frequency of them. Also reducing muscle tension and spasms, like I spoke about in the first uh, part of the series with the tension headaches, also helps to reduce stress. So I hope that today's presentation helped you to understand a little more about migraine headaches. But if you have any other further questions, comments, or suggestions, I would really love to hear them. And at the end of this presentation, you'll see my contact information. Also, feel free to share this with family and friends. Until next time, be well and stay well.